Hi, today we'll learn about eukaryotic cells and prokaryotic cells. Before going to that, let's discuss what is cell theory. The cell theory states that all the living things are made up of one or more cells. All the living things can be single cellular like amoeba or multicellular like us or any kind of plant or any other higher organisms. Cells are the basic unit of structure and function in living things. All cells come from other cells by cell division. There are two types of cells. A cell that have a membrane bound organelle, they are eukaryotic cell and the cells that do not have any membrane bound organelle, they are prokaryotic cells. They are mainly unicellular, uni means one, a single cellular. Mainly they are bacteria. So all the prokaryotic cells are the bacteria. Here it is a diagram of a bacterial cell or prokaryotic cell with cell wall, cell membrane, then the cytoplasm and inside there is naked DNA or nucleoid with no nucleus and no membrane bound cell organelles. It is very simple kind of cell and another type of cell they are eukaryotic cell cells that contain all the organelles which are held together by membranes. There are two types of eukaryotic cell, plant cell and animal cell. Eukaryotic cell has the plasma membrane or cell membrane. It is a flexible boundary of a cell. Here the black region is the cell membrane which separates the cell from its surroundings. Cell membrane or plasma membrane allows nutrients to enter the cell from outside and the waste products that is produced by the metabolism of the cell to be removed. This mechanism is referred to as selective permeability nature of the cell membrane. Selective means to choose and permeability filter through. By this mechanism, a cell membrane keeps a healthy balance of nutrients and water within the cell and this is known as homeostasis. An eukaryotic cell has nucleus. It is the largest organelle of the cell and it is the most inner compartment also. So the largest organelle of a cell is nucleus, not mitochondria. Nucleus contain chromatin or DNA. The genetic information on the strands are known as chromosomes. Nucleus is the control center for all the cellular function like metabolism and reproduction. It controls everything a cell performs. Inside nucleus, there is a thread-like structure that is chromatin. In the dividing phase, the mitotic phase of the cell cycle, it makes chromosome. Chromatin directs how to make a protein by central dogma, by DNA to RNA, RNA to protein process. Inside nucleus, there is another round shaped cell membrane, cell organelle, that is nucleolus. Nucleoclast makes ribosome. Ribosome is another kind of cell organelle that makes protein. It is made up of RNA and protein and known as the protein factory of the cell. Cytoplasm is the clear gel-like fluid inside a cell where the all cell organelles are suspended. Endoplasmic reticulum is the extensive network-like structure with of course a membrane and it has two types, rough endoplasmic reticulum with ribosome and smooth endoplasmic reticulum with no ribosome. It gives the cell a strength. Golgi apparatus is another kind of cell organelle 
inside any cell, any eukaryotic cell. It shores protein made by the ribosome and it sends them to the needed places of the cell. Then lysosome, another organelle. It is filled with digestive enzymes and it is used to remove the waste products and invading bacteria. So it is the defense mechanism of a cell. It protects cells from outside bacteria or any waste material or any foreign particle. It kills those particles by the digestive enzyme filled inside it. Mitochondria is another organelle is referred to as the powerhouse of the cell because it releases energy. It converts the energy stored inside the glucose into ATP by glycolysis and Krebs cycle. The energy, the solar energy is stored inside the glucose and in the photosynthesis, the solar energy is converted to chemical energy and that chemical energy is converted to ATP by glycolysis and Krebs cycle. We will discuss further in the metabolism chapter how it is done. Then vacuole. Vacuole is a fluid filled organelle enclosed by of course membrane. It stores materials such as food, sugar, water and waste products. It is mainly found in the plant cells. This is a cross section of a plant cell. The blue region is the vacuole. There may be a big vacuole or many short round shaped vacuoles. The pink region is the nucleus. The green parts are the chloroplast. Rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus with all the organelles because it is a eukaryotic cell. Plant cell also has a cell wall outside the plasma membrane or cell membrane. It is the rigid wall outside the plasma membrane. It protects the cell, the plant cell and gives extra support. So the plant cell is hard or woody and animal cell is soft because animal cell doesn't have any cell wall. And plant cell wall is made up of cellulose. Then chloroplast. It is another cell organelle found inside only the plant cell. It captures light and energy the solar energy in form of photon and convert it into chemical energy and inside the chloroplast there is a green pigment chlorophyll it is situated chlorophyll absorbs the photon energy the light energy the solar energy and it helps to break down the water particle h2o into hydrogen and oxygen ion and the process is known as photohydrolysis photo means light Hydro means water and lysis means to break down. We will discuss these in details in the photosynthesis chapter. Then plastids. These are organelles that found inside mainly the plant cells. And chloroplast is a type of plastid. There are other kind of plastid also, ameloplastid, then chromoplastids. They store food and waste products in the plant cell. There are different kind of cells, animal cell, first one, second one is the plant cell, then bacterial cell, first two are the eukaryotic cell and the last one, the bacterial cell is the prokaryotic cell. This is cross section of an animal cell with nucleus, nucleolus, then mitochondria, rough endoplasmic reticulum, smooth reti in, uh, endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi apparatus or Golgi body, lysosome, cell membrane. This is plant cell already discussed. Now we will discuss about the prokaryotes or microorganisms. Micro means small or tiny because they are small organisms or single cellular organisms. And micro, why micro? Because we cannot see single cell without the help of any microscope. We cannot see them with our naked eye. We need a microscope to see them. So they are microorganisms. All the prokaryotes are microorganisms. So let's see. Prokaryote means 
before a nucleus pro means before and karyon means nucleus so before a nucleus in the evolutionary time period they came before in the earth before the eukaryotes even exist after that they evolved and they make eukaryotic cell so they don't have any membrane bound organelle no nucleus only the cytoplasm and the naked dna or nucleoid there is only single celled they can make simple colonies they are the earliest type of cells in the earth they are mainly two types the bacteria and archaea bacteria exist in most environments we can found bacteria in air water soil everywhere even human intestine inside human intestine there are different bacteria present they help in digestion archaea they are different kind of prokaryotes they exist in ex- extreme environments like hot environment or salted environment or very cold environment they are chemically different bacteria and archaea by structural biochemical and physiological characteristics prokaryotes are much tougher than eukaryotes they can survive almost everywhere yes we can see them everywhere we cannot see them because we cannot see them with any with, without help of any microscope we cannot see them with our naked eye but they exist in everywhere in air water soil they have much greater genetic diversity than eukaryotes they have a cell wall surrounded by the cell membrane and their cell wall composition is different from the plant cell wall plant cell wall is made up of cellulose and bacterial cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan these are important for mcq questions bacteria they divide their cell or they reproduce by binary fission or amitosis their cell divi- division involves invert growth of the plasma membrane dividing the parent cell into two daughter cells each with a complete genome so let's see how they divide their cell first chromosome replication begins soon thereafter one copy of the origin begins to move toward the other end of the cell then replication continues one copy of the origin is now at each end of the cell then replication finishes the plasma membrane grows inward and new cell wall is deposited then the two daughter cells are formed it is very simple kind of cell division so simple than mitosis so it is amitosis before mitosis or binary fission there is a different structure of bacterial cell you can see the cell wall pili and flagella these are for movement and nucleoid they don't have any nucleus they have nucleoid or naked dna and plasma membrane and outside cell wall next day we will discuss about difference between eukaryotes and prokaryotes thank you so much for watching like and share with your friends and subscribe reads biology for more videos see you soon with a new topic till then take care and bye